My name is Alan Atwood. Uh, I'm from Nashville, New Hampshire, and welcome to Travel Art. This is the culmination of a, of a three-year period of designing and building. To, to see the finish line, to be at the finish line, is uh, pretty extraordinary. Hi, Alan. My name is John. I'm the lead engineer for the B-Boxes here, and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about your truck today. Alan, let's uh, take you inside the van and we'll show you uh, kind of what things look like. Now, right away, one of the first things that uh, is very impressive with this van is that there's a washing machine. And this is the second B-Box we've done with a washing machine. And uh, at first, it was kind of like, well, is that a really good place for it? But now that I see the van built and the way we put it together, it's really cool because it allows you to have like this open space in the front. And so you walk in, that's what you see is this washing machine right here. We took and reduced the countertop space and gave a little bit of an extra space here. So you've got this little bit of an open area here. But if you're going to do laundry, I tell you what, this is perfect. You can have a laundry basket. you got a place to fold clothes, either here or here. And you got a little bit of room to work around. And so it, it, when you walk in, Alan, it just makes this van feel open. And you got this skylight here. So I'm, we're standing here now, and I'm just look, looking at the, the nice outside light washing in. With a vehicle like this, I can pick and choose where I want to go and when I want to go. I can pretty much, you know, do and see whatever I want to do. And there's a lot I haven't yet. Uh, a lot of this country I haven't seen yet. So as you move back, you've got your uh, restroom, which is our standard shower bathroom uh, restroom for ARV. This is a very nice size. Um, we've got uh, pantry and uh, storage options here. So this is your kitchen kind of area here. Um, this works really good. Um, as you move back, you've got your microwave, air exchanger, and your refrigerator. And then we've got our platform bed. And that's one of the other unique features of this van is the platform bed. And this uh, provides a nice fixed place to keep your bedding. You can leave your bed set up, hit the road, take a nap if you want. It's all there and you don't have to put anything away, which makes it a nice uh, for traveling. Alan, I love the platform bed. And one of the things that... Uh, we were all thinking is how are we going to get into the bed and it's very awkward to climb you know are you just going to climb into this bed you're going to hurt your knee on this uh, sharp edge here you, you don't want to climb on your countertop this is quite high i mean you're talking uh, 40 some inches to, to to get up to this bed so we i stared at the screen for hours thinking about how are we going to make a good set of stairs and i had a revelation when i was a child we had a 1950s style costco folding stool it was red and chrome, and I, and I love that thing. It was in our house for a long time. But uh, it had a very unique uh, set of two stairs that flipped up and folded into the, uh, the stool itself. So, And I always liked that because the stair platform was very large, and you could step on it with bare feet. You know, It wouldn't hurt your feet like a round-rung ladder. It was very hard to climb on. So I said to myself, I said, look, we've got to provide a very comfortable way to climb into this bed for, for Alan. So this is what we came up with, and I'll just uh, we'll take you through this. There's a hidden set of stairs, and so what looks like a cabinet um, actually is a set of stairs. And so they pull out, it locks into position, then you just uh, very gently you uh, undo the latch, you hold this up, and you can undo this latch right there. This guy flips around like that. Bring the latch back, it locks into place, and that locks into place. Now look at that set of stairs. It's perfectly uh, locked in place. It's not going to move. And then uh, I'm going to demonstrate here. I'll take my shoes off. But uh, now you've got a really rugged, strong, and we put a grab handle right here. So you can just grab, and you're in bed. And uh, so I've actually had to test this out. I've taken a few lunch naps in here and uh, just to make sure that the stairs worked good and everything was comfortable, and it was very, very pleasant. So this actually also doubles as uh, the airflow for the utility area. So we've got hidden fans, and then if you notice on the front of this uh, cupboard, there's actually a graded uh, area. So airflow is, is an intake area, and it flows through, picks up heat from the battery compartment. It's pushed into this cabinet, and then this area here is where the hot air exhausts out the top. So you take in refrigerator air, sometimes your microwave heat, and it, it all kind of circulates. So hidden in this section is this cooling, cooling pad. Sound quality has always been a key for me. That's why you know we have the bar, the sound bar here that enhances the uh, the sound from the set, which you know I also have in my in my home, and you know a place in the back there where if I want to just you know quietly listen to some music, whether it put me to sleep or otherwise, uh, I have that option there. So these can be linked together. 
you can play your music. Um, this one swivels and moves into the aisleway. So yeah, the Sonos, it should be a really nice sounding system in this truck. So I want to fold these stairs up. It's really easy. Uh, what I'm going to do is just walk over. And so you've got this, uh, this uh, cam actuated lever. So you just flip that up and then you can take the stairs and pick them up. And then you want to flip this lever up also, which allows the stair, the, the bottom stair to be flipped over. And then that rests in place. Flip it back down. It now locks in place. You can lay this guy down. Flip that one back. That's stationary. The locking handle comes out. And then we can slide that back into position. And there you can see down there, there's our air vents where we got airflow that can circulate through the, through the utility area. This is your um, controls for your... Um, fuse panel right down the bottom there so that is uh, really close to our utility area it's it's uh, so it's easily wired and nice. right above that we've got an extra like a hidden access area to the utility area so this is like a pass-through area so Alan if you want to put your fishing rods or your tackle boxes or maybe uh, some other storage items that are bulky you can slip that right into the utility area this has got our standard uh, galley the stone countertop it's got our Signature radius there. Adam does a fantastic job with the, the galley cabinetry. This has got some really nice storage in it. Um, so just really neat stuff here. Adjustable shelves. I know that was one of the one of the key features that uh, that Alan wanted to have. How would Alan use these? Well, they just have the little clips that pull out. This is very similar to what you'd uh, find in a, in a shelf product in your home. So you just pull the pull the shelf out, and then you pull the clips out, and then uh, you can move them to the position that you'd like to have them in. And then you can put uh, the clips back so you can have different size product in there. Work I'm uh, involved in amateur cycling. I have my own uh, service and support company. You know, the, the garage space came really in handy when if I wanted to, you know, like I said, bring some tables, a tent, a chair. It could be big enough where we could put an e-bike in here. Multifunctional, and that's, that's the key of, of these things. These things have to be multifunctional, and certainly this is. This is a, a unique storage area, and I think this is something that Alan kind of specifically uh, requested, that uh, we had uh, multiple hatch doors. So what we've got is the two side doors, and we've got also a back door. And so back here, we've got more storage compartments. These are really neat. These, we found some, some hidden space, and we decided, well, you know what? We can't just let that go. We need to be able to... Uh, you use this for a storage space. So we made some aluminum boxes and we accessed that space and we got one on both sides there. And there's also another space up here where there's a storage tub that actually accesses more of that space. So instead of just letting this be big empty, you know, utility area, inside of this area is a lot of utilities. It's all of our electronics and um, pumps and uh, those kinds of things. But still, we, like I said, we, we found a little valuable space there for the storage area. If you take this panel off, you can immediately see inside of this area. So if you needed to do large uh, repair job or service, these uh, tubs would just slip out, we'll remove the screws, and then you could have all access. Nice. Uh, but for just uh, small jobs, this comes off, and I believe um, these side panels come off also to access from the top. Well, this one here, you've got uh, an outlet. Uh, you've got your uh, pump system for your um, leveling system. So there's still, even with that in this box, you still have extra area for storage, which is nice. You know, I put this in our B-Box bumpers, but we've got an extra pull-out storage area. So if you've got some, uh, some dirty items and maybe some, uh, some tubing or, or some pipes, anything you'd like to put in here. This side here, we have got our outdoor shower, and we've got another uh, electric hookup, and we've got our cable TV. And then I believe this one has an air compressor. And then this, of course, is the, uh, the macerator for your black and gray tanks. So this is how we drain um, our products. And there's a pull-out shelf, and then, then we have our, our drain hose right there. How much capacity does Alan have on his tank? Um, this is the standard B-Box. We've got uh, 26 gallons black, 26 gallons gray, and we got a 50-gallon freshwater tank. Well, Alan, uh, I hope, really hope you enjoy your van, or we actually, we hope you enjoy your van. Uh, this is a beautiful machine, and uh, best of luck to you. These things take time for a reason because, you know, VSRV does a terrific job of, you know, asking the right questions. What do you want? What is your purpose? What is your vision? And they help put that together. You know, they want you to, uh, to have a you know, successful journey.